Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, is set to participate and host the African Monologue Challenge Season 2. The ultimate celebration of African talent, culture, and the spirit of Pan Africanism. <laughs> While addressing the press today at the media center, Right Honorable Grace Kabayo, the senior presidential advisor on special duties, revealed that the significance of monologue challenge mostly the African culture, stating that it's high time Ugandan norms, beauty, and stories get to be known. Uganda, it is an opportunity to showcase Uganda. It's also an opportunity to tell the African story ourselves. You know that most of our stories that are told, if they are not negative, they are destructive. But we are not going to be shy about the challenges we have. At the same time, we are going to really highlight our successes. And we expect you, the media, to really, really help us in this one, to bring it out the way it is. And for that reason, Uganda is showcasing everything and we have all the ministries, the relevant ministries involved. Beginning with the office of the president, we also have the foreign affairs ministry that is represented here. Honorable Bahati has apologized due to urgent missions that have called him. We have the ministry of tourism. Uganda is blessed. It was not called the Pearl of Africa for nothing. We hope that through the monologue, we are going to be able to showcase all the best places of Uganda, the cultures, the foods, the music, dance, drama, and our border borders positively. <laughs> right Honorable Kabayo added that Uganda is always publicized or negatively, and yet it has sparkled in the African continent. We are going to recognize stars of Africa. There are Ugandans who have done great things. And unfortunately, Uganda is mainly publicized for the negative things. But we have people who have done great things out there and in here, and we are going to recognize them. She further called upon the media and the public to clear out the image of Uganda regarding the false stories which are tagged on it. Our children, soldiers, Kadogos, that story was given negatively at one time. But nobody had a mind to wonder what these children were doing in the struggle. How did they end up there? Why were they actually there? But can you imagine children without parents, homes destroyed? Where would they go? These are some of the stories. Chiboka Ruth, manager of content creation UCC, noted that Uganda was the second edition of African Monologue Challenge. She says that this helps in creating employment and shaping the narrative of Africa. So, Mlama Gweno Africa Monologue Challenge. Twagala Tugenda Kweda to Fenanga African countries, to promoting what Africa is really. Wogenda Monsi as a singer or Lucio Ulida Bubingo, Linga, where no lava TV, Balaga advert, Gawasemba, Danoklava, such things of Soeda Kwana, which that is not what Africa is. Africa has a lot of positive things. Nayefa by no kuzitelingachi is the stories. Some of the participants from the different countries, including Kenya, Nigeria, Zambia, Ghana, South Africa, Cameroon, have shared their views about the challenge. It's been a journey, like getting here, um, but I'm very, very happy and I'm very, very excited. And it's really a privilege and an honor to be representing my entire country and to be one of the young people who are the voices of Africa and spreading positive things about our beautiful continent. Divoire, Ivory Coast for AMC 2024 finals. I'm very excited to be here. I'm honored to be representing my country. I think we are doing great things in the Pan African House. It's been uh, creating great conversation and it's been such a good experience so far. Uh, I have had the food, it's been so good. I've had Rolex and learned that it's not a watch. 